Here we are, we're gonna start our program tonight and um, this is a very wonderful occasion for us. My name is Peggy Cohen Thompson and I'm the president of the Solano County Black Chamber of Commerce and a member of the Vallejo Business Alliance. And the Vallejo Business Alliance is the four chambers in the city of Vallejo. The Hispanic Chamber, the Philam Chamber, the Vallejo Chamber, and the Solano County Black Chamber of Commerce. And because of the service that um, the veterans military the Veterans Family Resources Center provides, we thought that the VBA would be representative of the whole of Vallejo, given the services that this organization gives to the whole of Vallejo. So for that purpose, the VBA is going to commence with doing a ribbon cutting. And so what I'd like to do is just to let Mr. Gambles just say a little bit of something about this organization and what they do that's so unique in terms of veteran services because we do have other veteran service organizations in Solano County and even in Vallejo. But what goes on in here is just it, just really, really unique and different. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love it. Um, I'm glad for these this couple and this family because I know them. So I'll just let him say a few words here okay. and then we'll get into um, introductions to the whole of all of us that are here. First, I'd like to thank uh, the Langston's here, Diane and Ronald, because when you look at this building here, he was the project manager. And if you look at the various, uh, when you look at the various uh, computers here, you'll see what we've been doing here. We had them all over the building, but just out front, you're blocking a little bit. But you can see some of the things that we have accomplished through the years. But we really like to thank Diane and Ronald for seeing the vision. And the vision started over 16 years ago. And let me just share with you a little bit about this vision because it's only appropriate. As I got with Robert Call at Mayor Allen and his father-in-law before that. Robert Call has truly been a blessing to the United States Military Veteran Family Resource Center. Number one is because he's a VSO. Second of all is because he is a service officer. And, and everything that we do, come and step up here a minute, Rob. Amen. And everything that we do in this building, he sees it far as processing claims and far as helping veterans who have been turned down uh, by the VA. And uh, he makes all these things possible. He is a good person to work with and we really appreciate his efforts in helping these veterans and spouses and orphans, not only here in Solano County, but else places he have helped us to make uh, the veterans and spouses' dreams come true. So we'd like to thank him. The second person I'd like to thank is my wife. Yes. Uh, God first, and then my wife. And the reason for this is when I came home and told her that I wanted to use the pension uh, to help these veterans out here on the street, uh, she thought, Liddy thought I had PTSD, and I probably do. <laughs> and, uh, but being that she was the wife of a retired first sergeant, she understood what it meant to take care of people. And we wanted to touch families at the grassroots level. We wanted to teach them what they did not know about the Veterans Administration. Title 38 in the Code of Federal Regulation is the Bible for the VA, just like the King James Version is the Bible for the Christian. We wanted veterans and their families to understand why and how the, the VA made the decisions and the type of decisions that they made on veterans' claims. So we began to teach Title 38 because if someone is going to make a decision on our life, then I need to know why they're making the decision and how they're going to make that decision. And over the last 16 years, we have changed the lives of over 15,000 veterans and their families across this nation especially here in Solano County. And I'd like to throw this in as an extra. Every time we remove a veteran from the health care services when he's coming out of prison or when he's getting off the health care services in Solano County, we are saving the county millions of dollars throughout California that is ever heard about. We as taxpayers, I know that we carry a lot of the burden of taking care of people when they are on these different health cares. The prison system pays half of their budget 
which is six million dollars a year on health care. These veterans coming out of the uh, out of these facilities and institutions, which Department of Corrections has over 32, and I can't say all of them is the veterans, but we do have a lot of veterans that are incarcerated, and we got kind of sick and tired of the revolving windows. So when these veterans come out, we try to get our hands on them, send them down to Middle Park for rehabilitation. We want to change our communities around. We are tired of people dictating how we can walk down the street, whether or not we can be safe. I wanted to move them veterans who was well trained from that environment so that we could have a safe community. They're not out there training these kids how to shoot weapons and stuff. I wanted to train them veterans from the ground root level in over four counties in this state where from Richmond to Fairfield to uh, to Vallejo here, we have moved veterans and sent them down to Middle Oak Park and got them rehabilitated. I did not think this was going to work out at first, but then we had volunteers to come in to begin to support us. If you look at the different monitors, we'd like to thank everybody that contributed to the United States Military Veteran Family Resource Center. And we're just beginning. If you think 15,000 veterans and family is a lot of people, we just put a dot on the wall, we're just, begin uh, just beginning. And the reason why we put it in Vallejo is because Vallejo is a center where everybody comes back and forth through Vallejo, whether you're on the major highways or not. And so we use Vallejo as a test bed. And we like to thank EDD and we like to thank Wells Fargo. I mean, there's so many people that stepped in to help us. And I want you to look at that monitor tonight because everybody's name that has helped contribute to your U.S. Military Veteran Family Resource Center is on that monitor. And the only thing I can say is thank you. We have Mr. Ward who stepped in and not a person that comes in this organization from the time that door opened in the morning, not one person received one salary. And they come here as if they're working a full-time job every day and I never have to ask them anything. And so I'd like to thank them as well. And all of you have came out tonight and God bless you. to do is um, just go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves and then we'll do the big presentation. So since you're back there, if you could just kind of stand up front here and introduce yourself. Hi. Hello, my name is Ronald Caldwell and I'm a Vietnam era vet and I'm here to support uh, the Family Center because the gentleman there, he, uh, I came in and a couple of months ago, and he kind of recommended that I apply for uh, uh, disability uh, benefits, which he did my paperwork, and now my uh, claim is pending, and uh, I think this is the best thing for vets, and we really appreciate it. Did you know you were eligible for those benefits? No, I did not. That's the beautiful part no, about this not. here. Hi. Hi, I'm Pat Cherry. I'm the spouse of a uh, Korea war vet. Right. <laughs> Maricela Barbosa with the past president of the Solano Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And also and with Vallejo Business Vallejo Alliance. Business Alliance yes. right. I'm David Gonzalez. I'm a member of the Vallejo Business Alliance. I'm Robert Cole. I'm the AMVET State Service Officer in Mare Island. I'm Robert Mitchell. Served over 40 years in the Army. Pastor Rodney Leggett and Annette Leggett. Faith Fellowship Baptist Church, where we work hand in hand with Reverend Sergeant Clyde Gamble. <laughs> Brother Robert Dickerson, Vietnam vet, 66, 67. And I'd like to thank uh, the brother for what he's doing for this program because I have been trying to get some connection with my benefits and things. And it's been since 67. And this is what. 2012. Uh, God's going to bless you. My name is uh, Rodrigo Galindo. I spent 20 years in the Navy, uh, six years in the East Coast, and 14 years in the Pacific. I also served uh, two years in the submarine. Uh, after I retired from the Navy in 1983, I worked for the U.S. government, uh, particularly in uh, Moffett Field as a accountant. I'm Ron Ketter. I'm from the uh, U.S. Forest Service Regional Office on Mare Island. I'm Don Cherry. I'm a Korean vet. 
went in Korea in 1950 and first started the so-called peace thing. <laughs> there was a war, I would tell you that. I'm from Oakland. My wife, she just presented herself up front. I'm proud of her because she stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Edmund Ward. I'm a Vietnam vet of two years, 6668. I'm 100% disabled vet. I met Clyde a few years ago walking down Georgia Street. He said he was going to open a place. First, I didn't believe it. When he saw me again down at Old Mary Island, he told me he had the building come down and take a look at it. I told him I'd come down here, and I've been down here ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I want you to hold on right, right there. I want to say something about this one gentleman. He the one that encouraged me to start this back in 1997. This man was shot 24 times in Vietnam on two different occasions. My name is Andrew Schwarz. I'm a eight-year naval veteran. I was in Gulf War I and Somalia. And now I'm actually on the civilian side of the fence. Uh, in Venetia, there's a defense contractor that I work for, and we're doing weapon systems on military aircraft and ground combat vehicles. And I'm his wife, Christina. I'm here tonight representing 24 Hour Fitness um, because we've put together a free workout this week for all of our active, reserve, retired. My name is uh, Rhi Hadzik. I'm a Vietnam vet. I was in the Navy uh, 74 to 77. Also, I am a disabled vet, uh, 70%, and I work for the USDA Forest Service here and uh, the Lake Hall. My name is Kathy Lacey Sturris. I currently work for the U.S. Forest Service. I'm the Disabilities Program Manager and Disabled Veterans Program Employment Manager. I was in the military as well. I worked for the military. I worked in Germany, and I worked for NATO services as well. So um, I'm very familiar with the military on several continents. Thank you. <laughs> My name is uh, Annie Latigano. My husband is veteran vet also. President of Leisure Escape Club in Putnara. So Leisure Escape Club is uh, dealing with travel and the food Nara is dealing with food export import. So this is our first visit, so we are excited to join the group. Thank you. My name is Henry Palmer. I'm a veterans representative working for EDD, California State Employment Services. I need to say thank you, Reverend Gapel. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a Vietnam veteran, uh, I'm a Marine, I'm an Army. I never got enough to eat in the dirt, so I went in both of them. <laughs> but I did enjoy my service. I can tell you that I'm also a disabled veteran. Um, but what I do all day is a joy to me. I help vets find work. That's what I do. I help them, and those vets that I come in contact that got hurt in the military, I lead them straight to Reverend Gamble or either send them to Robert Kyle. Because those are the those are the two gentlemen that I know in this county actually care about veterans. You have to care about a veteran if you're going to help a veteran. If you are a veteran, which I am a veteran, we've been all in the same foxhole as far as I'm concerned. I got shot every time one of my veterans got shot. That's how I feel about it. So I help. I know Reverend Gamble feels the same way. I know Robert feels the same way. I know all of you must feel the same way because it's after 7 o'clock at night and we're all here. <laughs> I'm Andrea Garcia from Turo University, California. I'm also the wife of an Army vet. But may I add that it is such an honor to be here with so many vets and so many people that did so much for our country. I thank you. Yeah, I'm the sales manager for Solano um, Wells Fargo Home Mortgage Group. Reverend Gambles and his wife reached out to our team to see if we could help with some donations. I'm happy to say that we were able to get... Okay, okay. I want that's a presentation. I wanted to hold that because that's special. Okay. <laughs> so we were able to help you. <laughs> my name is Sylvanus Burden. I'm here with Next Level. Um, I really feel bad that um, I didn't get into the reserve 28 years ago. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, my hearing um, didn't allow me. Um, I'm here supporting um, the organization that I think is great, um, helping the vets and 
just proud to be part of um, celebrating tonight. Thank you. My name is Sam Thompson. Uh, some of you know me, and what you don't know about me, I'm administrator at Mount Calvary Baptist Church in Fairfield, California. I am not the pastor. <laughs> I'm a minister. There's a big difference, and people seem to get those mixed up. So I support the pastor. I'm also a member of the uh, Vallejo Chamber. I'm an ambassador on the chamber, also Sunset Rotary. I'm also an insurance agent for Farmers Insurance Group and the Solano. Um, um, you won't let me finish, okay? I'm on the Solano uh, uh, Black Chamber. I'm here for the uh, Vallejo Chamber of Commerce. I'm on the board of directors. Uh, my name is Rich Curtola. I'm president and CEO of the Vallejo Chamber of Commerce, and I'm proud to be here tonight. Um, I met Mr. and Mrs. Gambles uh, several months ago, and uh, there's one thing I'd like to say. Um, when I was a kid growing up, we used to play marbles, and uh, we all collected our marbles, and you didn't want to get beat out of them in the, in the marbles game. But the most important marble you owned was the ones you called a genuine. Mr. and Mrs. Gamble are genuines, and I am proud to know them and proud to be affiliated with them in my city. Look, named Richard Mitchell, got a four years during the peace talk of the Korean War those years. I'm mean, to love it and I want to thank Mr. Gamble for helping me become a vet. My name is Abel Sacramento and I work for ZipRealty.com. I'm not here to sell you guys real, uh, real estate properties, but I'm here with Edward Levitt and he is a vet and I'm proud to be associated with everybody here. Thank you. My name is Daryl Brown. I, I'm a veteran. I've been knowing Mr. Gamble for a few years. Uh, he started this when we talked about it about a year ago. I've also been volunteering with him. I've uh, learned a lot. Uh, took advantage of some of the veterans' benefits, VRAP, which is one which I'm in school now. Uh, but through Mr. Gamble's, I also met Mr. Robert Carr here, who's the AMVET rep. So it's a pretty good organization. There's a lot going on for uh, vet, uh, the veterans, and this is a, a wealth of knowledge. This place has so much information for veterans and their benefits. Hi, good evening. My name is uh, Maurice Delmer. I'm a field representative for Assemblywoman Susan Bonilla, who now represents the 14th Assembly District, uh, which includes Vallejo, Vallejo, excuse me, Rich. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> schooled me on that. Um, and I uh, actually do uh, case work uh, as well for the office, and I am the liaison for uh, veterans' issues. So I look forward to working with uh, Mr. Gamble, Mr. Gambles and uh, the better, uh, the military uh, and family resource uh, center here. Thank you. The distinguished yes. gentleman with the straw hat. <laughs> yeah. My name is Roscoe Dickens and I was appealing a case of mine for about 50 years. And I've been going to different people, to different organizations and I found out about Mr. Gamble and I came here and I think we solved the problem. <laughs> Hello, my name is Earl Roberson, or Pastor Earl Roberson. Um, I was born and raised military. I was born in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Hoorah! <laughs> uh, I have a, a nonprofit called Second Chance International Housing. We provide housing for uh, veterans and disabled vets. I'm also the CFO of the Black Chamber. Okay. Um, I'm the sales manager for the Solano team of Wells Fargo Home Mortgage. Um, my office is located here in Vallejo. And Reverend Gambles and Mrs. Gambles contacted us to see if Wells Fargo could help. Okay? We were able to give them $15,000. Okay? And we also have more coming. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Edwell Antolin, and I'm from Wells Fargo. And I'm here to support this uh, this function because Wells Fargo is, is a big donator to the uh, and a big supporter uh, for the, the Veterans Family um, Center. So we look forward to continuing our support and helping uh, this center support our veterans. One year. <laughs> Both of them is 75 years old and they spent time, they spent the whole time in the military together. And we really appreciate their services. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for the Vallejo Business Alliance for coming out and for the Solano County Black Chamber. And uh, enjoy the food and meet and greet and share.